I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about dividing polynomials. So if I was given this problem, minus 5, we're looking 5, 5k five squared, kind of like Frankenstein they had there, anyway, plus k to the third, plus 8k, plus 4, divided by minus 1, plus k. It's a weird plus sign, what the heck am I doing? All right. So, I have my dividend and my divisor. Now, what I notice is that they're not uh, in order in the sense of highest degree first. So, when I rewrite this in my long division, my divisor, I'm going to put k uh, plus a negative 1 first. So, we have k plus a negative 1, and you do k minus 1, but let's leave it as plus a negative 1. I'm sure that you can also do it that way. Now, this one I'm going to rearrange highest degree first. Highest degree is k to the third. Then it's going to start working down a minus 5k squared. Then we have a plus 8k, and then a plus 4, okay? So I, all I did was rearrange within each parenthesis, highest degree first, and move our way down. So now I'm going to ask the question, what times k gives me k to the third? And that's just simple k squared. So k squared times k is k to the third. And then k squared times a negative 1 is a negative k uh, squared. So I can subtract the 2, okay? Subtract the 2 there, and then you can make a plus a negative k squared, but it doesn't matter. Subtract the 2 here, k to the third minus k to the third eliminates k. Uh, negative 5k squared minus a negative uh, k squared, it's just like adding a positive k squared, is a minus 4k squared. Let's bring down the 8k. Let's do it again. What times k gives me a minus 4k squared? And that's a minus 4k. Okay? Minus 4k. Minus 4k times k. So minus 4k squared, and minus 4k times the negative 1 is like adding a pop, it's like a positive, so we have a positive there, and negative times the negative is positive, so positive 4k. We're going to subtract the 2, it should eliminate the minus 4k squared, but they do, right, minus 4k squared minus a negative 4k squared is like adding a positive. Then, so that's a 0, and then 8k minus 4k is just a positive 4k. Let's bring down the 4 here, okay, my last part here. What times k gives me 4k? Pretty simple, just a positive 4. 4 times k is 4k. 4 times the negative 1 is a minus 4. Okay? So, we subtract the 2. 4k minus 4k is just 0. And then 4 minus a negative 4 is like adding a positive 4, which is an 8. So now I have a re remainder of 8. Okay? So I'm pretty much done. I'm going to write what's up here, my k squared. Uh, minus 4k plus 4 plus my remainder 8 over my divisor, okay, and divisor I'm going to rewrite here instead of plus a negative 1, just be k minus 1. It does look nicer for a final answer, k minus 1, and that is the final answer. So let's recap. I was given this problem, negative 5k squared, which is like the Frankenstein 5, plus k to the third, plus 8k plus 4, divided by negative 1 plus k. I rearranged both of them when I wrote it in long division to have highest degree first within each parenthesis, k plus a negative 1. And then here I have k to the third minus 5k squared plus 8k plus 4. Just make sure you bring down all parts. Now, when I say is okay, I ask myself the question, what times k gives me k to the third? And that's k squared. Multiply k squared of both parts, subtract it, and got a minus 4k squared. Brought down to 8k, same thing. What times k is a minus 4k squared? And that's a minus 4k. Multiply the minus 4k to both parts here. Got that right there. Subtracted, and got a positive 4k. Brought down to 4. Same thing. What times k gives me 4k? That's just positive 4. Multiply positive 4 to both parts here. Got the 4k minus 4. Subtracted them and got a positive 8. That is my remainder, that positive 8. And so my final answer is just that k squared. It's written up here, k squared minus 4k plus 4 plus my remainder 8 divided by my divisor, which I instead write, I'll be k plus negative 1, be k minus 1. And there we go.